Hi everyone, as promised, I am back and I'm back with some Scrap Diva Designs projects. And the first die that I have been crafting with is this one here. You probably already seen the project that I worked on. It is a card, it's a 3D card. And so I use this 3D castle. Remember guys, you could always follow this hashtag and if you're making any projects with the Scrap Diva Design dies, just go ahead and put that um, hashtag on Instagram or on YouTube if you're a YouTuber so we can see what you're making. Um, Erica does check out every single thing that you guys are making. So just, um, and also check out the design team. They also use this hashtag. So follow so you guys could get some a lot of inspiration that the design team comes up with. Man, they've been killing it like always. So um, I'm gonna show you the pieces of the dice that I use for this project. Let me show you um, what I made. And it is a Disney theme castle because I wanted to go ahead and use this die for my Disney uh, swap, which is a hashtag March Disney Madness. And so I made this cutie here. So this one is for Eileen and I made it purple. I added purple flowers, but let me show you what I did. So for this die, it comes with this roof part here that makes this part on the top. Then this ledge part is this die here. And then we have the window part or the uh, building ex itself. And it comes with this one here. It cuts out the windows. Now, they, this die does come with layering pieces. So you can have like different color window. Imagine so pretty the trimming for the window. It just come with the flag and a octagon that goes on the bottom of your 3D castle. Now, um, Jen Cassell made an actual whole castle. So I will link her down below. Go watch her video. Oh my gosh. She actually made a whole, a huge castle using this die and it's, it's so fabulous. I just, I just can't, <laughs> I just can't. So, um, what I did here is I'm kind of modified it a little bit. Uh, instead of using this piece here, I went ahead and I made it into a tab. So all I did is snip half of it, kind of left one fourth and then made a little tab because it does cut out th on this side a tab. And I folded it, I went ahead and I cut this octagon um, out and I went ahead and I adhered it to the bottom and just snipped off what I did not want to use or was not, you know, I kind of eyeballed it and kind of measured it and made a little tab for the bottom piece too. So I, instead of cutting it right at the mark, I went ahead and I added about one fourth inch and same thing. I did the same thing with this little piece of ledge. And I did the same thing with uh, this part here, which is the roof part. So I, I made a little tab here. I cut off this piece here. I made a little tab so it could fold and it, I could add it to the card. And of course, everything attaches to one another. So this part attaches to this part and then all of it attaches because all of it, all, all these pieces are made to work with one another, another. They're perfectly sized. And so it made this cutie here. So if you see here, I have a little flag on the top. I have a butterfly. I have a little flower and I have a little banner that goes on the top of the project. And that banner is from the suitcase shadow box. And it it's this one here. So I made two of these and um, these two. Look how cute they turned out. Um, this one is for Luisa and hers is a little pink. Look how pretty it came out. I added little acrylic bows. This little window is from another die from the Scrap Diva Designs. It's from the uh, house die that she came out with um, in, in December. And um, so how precious is this card? And then inside I've added a little Mickey glove. It's so pretty. So um, let me show you the next project I worked on. Project I worked on is this die here and it's an it, Easter mini album. I did not use it as an album this year. All I did is I made a Easter, a kind of Easter box or Easter basket. This die is so versatile. You can use it for cards. You can use it for an album. I've seen a lot of, um, of the design team making albums with this one. But what I did is I made an Easter basket. Yes, I did. I love this. I saw a lot of the design team uh, making a lot of little items with this little box. But I just decided to make a simple 
um, Easter basket because Easter's right around the corner. By the way, happy Easter, ha happy Resurrection Week. And what I did here is just added some of these with candy or I could fill them up with crafty goodies, like a sequin mix. I could put a little bag of sequin mix in here or flowers. And then I put this one in here too. Look how cute in it, of course, candy has to go in an Easter basket. So I added this bag and uh, some um, taffy, some chocolate, and it fits all this candy plus a little bit more fits in this cute little box. Now this little box, um, this bottom part does measure uh, six and a half by two and three fourths. And it's so perfect. So add a little brands here. This handle is from the actual Easter basket. She does have an Easter basket that she came out with for the March release. So I went ahead and I made that Easter basket this year, but I also made this one because I don't know, I just really wanted to use her dies. So you could see that not only can you make the album, you can make them 3D. All I did is added like a gusset all around and added that handle from the Easter basket itself and it came out with this cutie patootie here uh, this bow is also from her um, March release look how cute this die is guys I doubled um, I put a double bow on here and it just came out super cute and I um, put the Easter word on foam so it looks popped out added that bunny right there and then it did the same thing on the back but did not add the foam onto the letters i just wanted it to be flat because i wanted the person to tell which part is the front and which is the back added this bow here and the little chickadee right there with the little easter egg <laughs> how cute um i could further decorate at adding some flowers down here and but i did want to show you before easter came around that i was working with these dies and um I'm loving the way it turned out. Let me put these back in so you guys could see. Now I am going to add, if I do give it away, I am going to add cellophane to close it up so it can look like an actual Easter basket. I added this little bow on the top with some butterfly trim. Why not? And make it look as cute as could be, as cute as a button. <laughs> so cute. So I went kind of simple with this one. And let me lay it down so you guys could see it a, a little bit better. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that I brought inspiration. And let me bring back my little castle right here. Oh, how cute. Look. So we have two separate, you know, themes. But they can work together because this castle is just fabulous. So have a wonderful day. I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.